So I sit down here and I think it to myself, I said, Jesus Christ, well, if born him, you tell me mother back in the fucking days that he ain't paying no fucking school teachers, that you got to teach these motherfuckers at home. And it's nine of fucking week. She didn't have TV back in the day, so she make nine job. I think she used to watch TV, though. I don't think they had fucking TV. Anyways, I just imagine she home with nine of fucking week, 24 fucking seven, and I bought for fucking ten children. That lady with the name Boris Maddows by now, scunt. I swear to God. No. Let me tell you something, and I can tell you this in the nicest fucking possible way. You see, we, we get creative in getting them little rascals, them little motherfuckers out of the bed when the morning come, pot, spoon, fucking broom, map, stick, whatever, the mother's going getting up and they get into your fucking school on time. You want to tell you why we do that? Because you see, between nine to fucking three, we get little fucking peas, the bad mother's going to make no manners, none. We just send them for y'all, teach them, for y'all, train them, get them little structure, teach them fucking manners. And that was me fucking chairman, but guess what? What do you think they got school for? For y'all assist me a little bit so that I won't go over the fucking edge. These motherfuckers don't stop talk when they do home. Oh, fucking it. I got a question for ask you. No, pull me dance like fucking I don't know what. Dance. And they come if I ask me, scunt. These fucking questions. Me. Dance me. And all I want, all I want to do is the peace and fucking quiet. And all of them come if I ask fucking questions. Mommy, what you think about this? Mommy, you think one scunt. Mommy, if you know we are talking about right now. Mommy, you know nothing but with the teaching all these fucking days. Mommy, dance like a fucking bat. Yeah, see why we need the school system, eh? I don't understand why we need to get them out of the fucking house so that we could keep with fucking sanity. All them mothers can't hold me, never coming out of the bed no more. I lay down with fucking and cry, depressed cunt. I make them, yes. But still, man, y'all gotta help we, Jesus Christ. Plus, I got a cross and fucking father for deal with. Then whole motherfucking day now they go and eat something. I feel for eat this and I feel for eat fucking that because of the home squad. What? No. Pay the fucking teachers if they go to school. We can help you walk and pay the fucking teachers if we can walk and pay the fucking teachers. Pay the fucking teachers. Them. Let them little motherfuckers go to school. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know the mental health crisis you can create in Guyana by leaving them little fuckers home with we. Jesus, man. Jesus. Imagine them with them football fucking team and then cricket team. Them in a TV. Y'all don't do this to me, okay? Don't. I plead in with y'all right fucking now. The man who's gonna fall is gone. I promise y'all that. I ain't even lying to you. Whole oh, fucking day. Mommy was this. Mommy was that. Me never wake in the scunt up for the online school home. Okay? Me want hear the fucking mouth. Stay out your fucking bed. Don't come out of the fucking bed. The longer the fucking sleep is better for me. It's less time for fucking me. I send them to school for time and the fucking teachers them. Not me, Scott. I can't make it. Pay the fucking teachers. Hey guys, good morning. How is everybody doing today? So I come for tell you ask on something because um I don't agree with this scunt at all. So I got for you I know why I don't agree with it. Now we know the teachers of Guyana have been on strike for many, many months now. There's no resolution between them and the government in getting better wages. And they deserve better salaries. They do. Now, the vice president did a press conference where he said they're exploring the option of introducing the e-schooling system where children can go to school online from home where the government is going to give these family vouchers to pay these online school, whatever the case is. Now, I don't fucking agree with it. 
And I'm going to tell you why. Now, we got enough fucking dunce talk running around in Guyana. We don't need a whole fucking generation more of them. All right? Now, let me tell you why they need to physically get the fuck up and go to school. It teach them discipline. It teach them obedience, okay? It gives them a social life at school. Where they're not in their room all day, okay? They go out there to socialize with other children. They learn to be team, um, team players, you understand? So taking that away from them, I believe it's going to be devastating. Don't. The best memories that I have is that of my school days. The friends, them that I've met in high school, the crazy fucking things that we did. Don't take this experience away from these children. Don't. Now, when you can um, stalk them at home in front of a computer and the parents can't to work, these motherfuckers is there in a classroom and can't settle sore and a woman teacher is there in front of them. They can't settle, they can't fucking stop that. Imagine now if you put them home. Home they can be now. Unsupervised. Girl, what, what the fuck you can do me there behind the fucking screen? What a scunt you can tell me? And you're the way behind a fucking screen. What you can do? Eh? Them, this, they're right in front of you. And there's be disrespectful. Imagine if them in there in front of you now and you got to teach them. You know what's going to happen? The chaos it's going to create. These children will have no discipline, no obedience. Uh, um, some of them is going to develop that thing where they're, where, where, where they're so used to being alone. Let these children go to school. Physical fucking school in the talking about. Don't, don't do that. Now a whole fucking generation of dunce. God, I'm in a lawyer not in home. You know who's we? Huh? Join COVID to put me for walk home. The man say, come on, it's gone back to walk home. We's grown adults. Come back to walk. Nobody ain't walked in. I know I'm a pajama whole fucking day, so or something. Maybe I'm getting up for bed. It's gone to the people computer. You think these children are bad or nothing? <laughs> No, they're not going to do that. Let them get the scunt up and go to school. Don't take this, this away from our children. Don't. Let them learn it. You're preparing them for the real world, sir. You know the job we got to go to for 8 o'clock in the morning? It's like a job. You're training them for adulthood. And this e-schooling system sucks. Maybe if it's UG student, that is fine. But you see the um, primary to secondary, let us can't go to school, sir. Don't keep them home. Eh? Don't do it. They're going to find other things for do. Now, I believe that y'all need to pay these teachers instead of trying to create a whole new fucking system now. Pay the teachers, okay? It's that simple. We are say you are spending seven hundred thousand on a child, and it's going to only take three hundred thousand um to to do the fee for e schooling. Guess what? Cut that seven hundred thousand down to to four hundred thousand and give them teacher from each child three hundred thousand. Okay, if y'all don't want to dig into your budget, then cut the fucking children and budget and accommodate the um teachers them. Make them happy. They're the ones that come because y'all can still slash the money. If they if they um e schooling at home. So guess we'll slash it now, scunt and give it to the teachers. Alright? We well, yeah, say so yeah, I was gonna give them three hundred thousand because this will cover the, the school year. Well guess we'll give the teachers them three hundred thousand and give the children four hundred thousand per child or whatever you claim you are giving. That's it. Now, don't keep these little fuckers home at all. At all, at all, at all. Let it go out and let it thing. Whatever happened to our national anthem that we go to school proudly and say every day, that, that's going to be gone. All of that is going to be gone, eh? What about school fairs, prom, eh? We let school parties go and wind up on one another and things. So what happened? The whole school experience you're trying to take away from these children. No. Let it go to school.